Good morning everyone, this is Trafalgar Valentine. How's it going today? Today I'll be doing another vehicle drawing. Today's going to be Vector V8, uh, Vector W8 Twin Turbo. So to start off with, I've just got a ground level line, which I've just drawn with a pencil here. I'm going to do a second line just above it for the wheels. So I've got these nice bold two lines. So to start off with, I'm just going to do the basic shapes, and then we're going to work into the detail. So let's just draw a wheel here. This is a HP pencil on 60 GSM paper. It's very light paper. But, uh, well, got a huge pile of it, so I might as well use it. Okay, sketching that wheel out first. And the second one. Bring it about here. The inside edge. Okay, then for the bodywork, we'll bring that down, across there, for the rear section of the car, it lifts up, comes up here, then so it's a smooth curve all the way across. Okay, it goes to like a very narrow wedge shape at the front. There. Just move this a little bit to the side. Okay, then. Well, this is the front of the vehicle. Then for the second line, we're just going to sketch this up. On the drawing, um, from this corner, the wedge, this is where the windscreen starts. And this will come up. The windscreen comes off at this angle. It's a very low and smooth car, this. Uh, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, bring this back down. We have a lower section here. Okay, uh, there's the indicator light here, and then there's two lights at the front, these slow rectangle shapes, then it's got some vents on the bonnet, <coughs> um, separated by two. There's just some lines going across there. <coughs> then it's got two vents here, just in front of the rear wheel. A bit out, but yeah. It's got one line in the center. Uh, we'll bring this out. Then for the rear view mirror. Okay, now for the spoiler. So this isn't coming above the car, so I'll bring it down here. Okay, so I've got those shapes in. Let's just maybe do the wheels next. So this comes around here. There's another circle on the inside. Just sketching this lightly, remember, with a pencil. Nothing too fancy right now. Then, because this has got an outer edge here, we'll do an inward edge on the opposite there to show the depth of the tyre, the rim, wheel rim, sorry. Then it's got another circle here, just off to the centre and just to the left a bit because of the way the wheel's positioned. 
then the rims have these holes in it. It's going to be made by doing these like triangle shapes on the inside. So just doing that all the way across. So I've got five there. Let's do five on this side. Okay. Right. I'm happy with that. Right. The next stage is going to be where I want to outline some of these. I will line some of these pencil lines. I might not outline all of them. We'll see how it goes. Especially on the top here, just where the light reflects down. So I'm just going to be careful what I outline there. But uh, I'm also going to be doing the shadows as well, like the darkest shadows. So it's pretty straightforward. Just a lot of heavy black shading here and there in like correct ways. So I'll bring this curve up a bit. And then because this uh, this part of the vehicle is coming down this way, this black shadow is going to move down with that curve, and come up slightly. Then back around. Then it gets a little bit lighter at the bottom. Just like so. This is the next black line. Go down here. <coughs> okay, this comes round. Then following this line come to around here and then this comes down where the uh, that rear view mirror was And this line is just following it down on this edge. Okay, so I'm going to click it into time lapse. Uh, there's not a few more shapes out, but you'll be able to see where the shapes are going and stuff if you want to follow it. I'll just slow down, down the speed of it. Now I'm just going to fill all these in. Then afterwards, I'll go to some grey cool picks and maybe some pastel on top. But we'll see how it goes. So let's go into time lapse.
lines in as you can see i've created a lot of different shadows here trying to curve it around the different shapes around the wheels and stuff got a bit of uh, just around the outside i'm going to put some more gray in there so it's just a bit of black here's some reflection up on here just maybe a ground and maybe a tree and stuff like that again i've kind of left this bit open just because it reflects more of the ground okay i've left these shapes here just because i want them to be really light and i want like a cartoony outline so i'm going to go ahead with my uh, gray core pixies are kind of like blue grey kind of colours and uh, just bring those blacks uh, where the black is now it's sitting on the white so it's very very heavy contrast but with the greys I can slow it down a bit and make a gradual kind of increase between the light and the dark so let's move into time lapse with this because it's pretty straight Copic marker layer that I've just done. Doing a lot of different progress here. I've just gone with the greys just around the car. Kind of like a warm grey in the centre. A few shadows there. And uh, yeah, I've done quite a bit. I did a bit. I thought with the Copics as well. I thought I'd do a bit of background as well. So I've done a few greens and stuff as well. A bit of brown underneath. So yeah, blue on the windscreen. It's sort of like a ground reflection. So a bit of green and a bit of blue for the sky. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. So, uh, next step, I want to try and create a smooth transaction between all these different grays and stuff. At the moment it's quite hard and solid and rigid, but we'll use some pencils just to kind of smooth this all out. Might use a few pastels as well. So yeah, let's go with the pencils, see what happens. I think with these ones, I could actually just get away with actually going on top of the marker. Let's just test it out here. Yeah, like so. And what I want to do is just come right across with this, just to break this surface up. And same for here. Because if you, when it runs over the top of it, like so. And tie this white bit and this black bit together. Let's just try a bit of HP pencil. Just going to time lapse where I'm just finishing this off, just so I don't bore you too much, and I'll just explain afterwards with what I did.
Okay, so I've done a lot of different pencils here. As you can see, I've just uh, used a 7B pencil as well to create nice dark grey lines. I'm going to take advantage of this grey. Use a bit of green as well, just on the lower portions, and a bit of brown, just to get a bit of ground colours. Uh, as you can see, I've kind of just smoothed it right across, trying to bring out the smooth con trans uh, a little smooth transaction between the colours. Because the problem is with the heavy white and heavy white, it's like it makes it look like two different objects. So with this, I want to just kind of bring it all together onto one flat surface, which is what the vehicle is. Now the problem is though that with that, I've kind of fuzzied out. And made it less bold so i need to do the finishing touches this will be with a white gel pen maybe a white pencil and maybe a black one as well so use the black and white just to really pull out the rest of the pull out the rest of it basically so yeah let's uh let's crack on and see what happens let's go back into time lapse for this guys i think i'll leave it there as you can see i've just done a bit of white uh, gel pen just to round it my pencil kind of failed on me never mind and a bit of pastel in the background with some sticky notes just to get a nice smooth line but, uh, yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with that um, i don't know i feel like it's missing some of it eh, oh well it's still being fun to draw let's just clean this line up a little bit Okay. Anyway, guys, I think I'll leave it there. But uh, thanks very much for watching. This has been Trevago Valentine. Another vehicle drawing. Do my Vector V W oh, W8 Twin Turbo. <laughs> keep on drawing. Keep on practicing.